Hi guys, in this video we will be seeing uh, construction of hyperbola by using general method. This is the question. Construct a hyperbola when the distance of the focus from the directrix is 65 mm and eccentricity is 3 by 2. You can see that the 3 by 2 means it is greater than 1 which definitely means that it is hyperbola. In some cases they won't give the eccentricity value. Uh, eccentricity information uh, or the hyperbola the curve information will not be given and just eccentricity will be given by that we should understand that it is a hyperbola or parabola or uh, ellipse for ellipse it will be less than one for uh, hyperbola it will be greater than one for parabola it will be equal to one so now uh, let us go to the autocad screen so now uh, as usual uh, first when you open it we have to go to the limits 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 0 comma 0 first one and 500 comma 500 second then uh, in the units the units it is in inches change it to the millimeters and press ok then z enter a enter that is zooming all to this then draw a straight line something like a 200 mm but uh, you see it is coming cross so for it to be straight what you have to do you have to press R the mode on so now with R the mode is on then press 200 and press ok so here this is a 200 mm straight from the midpoint let me draw a straight line horizontal line which is 65 mm which is 65 mm that is select the line command and from the midpoint draw a 65 mm line and at the end point of this will be having so let me denote the focus first so p let me change the p style p d y p e i am changing the point style by using p type command and selecting this something like this and press ok now i'll select a p that is point at this end point which is a f which is f so let me write that one also m t printer here the is it. So let me give some five as a point and press enter. Then I'll press capital F to close text editor. So this is my focus point. I'll change it's a, a little bit more. I'll move this up. And every time focus point is very much important for us. Therefore, I'm giving some separate color to it. If you want, you can even give the line weight also. Line weight will be added to the uh, name that is F it will be added so line weight display if I on it and you can see the F has become a little bright point uh, the point will not become but the F whatever it is now you are talking about hyperbola since it is in a hyperbola and uh, uh, the eccentricity is 3 by 2 the eccentricity is 3 by 2 we have to divide the line whatever we have drawn into 3 plus 2 that is 5 equal parts so divide this particular thing into 5 equal parts numerator plus denominator that is 3 plus 2 if it is 5 by 7 or 6 by 8 then we will go for in another way, in that way numerator plus denominator that's it every time numerator plus denominator how many points it is coming those many parts you have to make it so here it is 3 by 2 therefore 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 we will make 5 parts that is select div command that is division enter and select this line and divide it into 5 equal parts here because it is numerator plus denominator 5 equal parts now select the v point how do you select the v point the v point will be the third point will be the third point from the focus that is a numerator point from the focus therefore 0 1 2 3 this is your third point therefore the focus will be the focus will be at something uh, sorry the vertex will be at this point so change the name that is this is not f this is v change the v if you want you can even change the color also i'm changing the color so this is uh, what uh, the v point is up there. this is how the v point is how did we get the v point uh, first we have to divide the line whatever the line is have drawn into equal parts so how many equal parts is depending upon the eccentricity value it is depending upon the eccentricity value if the eccentricity is 3 by 2 the numerator plus denominator is 5 therefore we have divided it into 5 equal parts 
if it is something like 5 by 7 or 6 by 8 in that way numerator plus denominator means 6 by 8 means 6 plus 8 then it becomes uh, 6 by 8 means uh, 8 plus 6 means 14 it will become in that way so remaining all things are not necessary now because vertex is already obtained so I'll, one thing I'll do I'll delete these two points here also I'll delete these two points so that I don't get any confusion then draw a straight line from V to F and press escape and select this line and use rotate command then with V as center rotate it with 90 degrees so this is how the 90 degrees is rotated then select the line command from V draw a 100 mm line 100 mm line like this 100 mm line like this and and select a line from the end point to uh, so let's see that you select a little top word something like 300 you do you take some 300 mm line like this then uh, escape I have drawn the line escape now uh, what for the this line is there that is uh, VF uh, line is rotated now that is give uh, the name for it supposingly some P uh, some P give the name as some P so join CP by using a line code. join C P and now now extend the CP line to the drawn line we say 300 line whatever is it so I'm using extend and I'm extending it like this. So now whatever the unnecessary things can be removed. I'm removing that. Here unnecessarily one extra line has come that I'm also going to remove it. So this is how the second line is updated. After that, after that, use division command div enter and select V what are the line drawn that is 100 mm line drawn we have drawn that is only selected from B and divide it into some 10 equal parts. So this is some 10 equal parts. Then I am taking 10 equal parts. So the F point and other point is becoming very nearer. So one thing I will do, I will do select it into some 8 equal parts. So DIV enter so that I don't get any confusion. That's what 8 equal parts. Even 8 is also coming very nearer. DIV enter. Step to the line. Mm, so 12 equal parts. This is a little bit okay. So B I V enter. B I V enter. Select the object. This is selected and this seven is there. Okay, this is a little bit good. That's one equal parts I have selected and I have done. Then what you will do? You will select this line. Whatever this uh, extended line is that I have selected, and use copy command. And, uh, and from the, uh, from the center point, that is end point, you'll select it. Whatever the points is obtained at all those points, you'll draw straight lines. You'll draw the straight lines. The unnecessary things are there now. We'll remove it by using the trim command. In this way, you can remove it by using trim command. Now, give the names to them. Give the names to them. So, select this. Use copy command. And uh, select this as your base point. This is your 1. This is your 2. This is your 3, this is 4, 5, 6, and 7. We'll name them. This is uh, this is 1, this is uh, 2, this is 2, this is 3. I know you understood why I have given separate color to the F so that we don't get confused with this division points along with the focus point that should be definitely visible to you brightly therefore i have used some red color so here i am taking seven so these are the points which are obtained so why should we use yellow color we'll use another color something like green i guess now whatever the things are there should be replicated in the top word by using the dash that is this is uh, this is one therefore this becomes one dash one dash <coughs> this is two therefore this becomes two dash uh, two dash you click it and uh, two dash similarly three dash four dash five dash six dash in this way can now what you will do is it draw a circle from one to one dash and then select the circle and change the 
center point from 1 to F 1 to F then you can see that there is a intersection on 1 1 dash line this is the intersection of that. so that intersection I am selecting the PO command and uh, uh, say, uh, pointing out this intersection then delete this circle which is not necessary now then draw another circle with uh, 2 2 dash as line then again change the center from 2 to F then you can see there is some intersection point here but it is not visible clearly now I am using my mouse wheel to zoom it here you can see it is only cutting at one point therefore PO enter select this point enter when you zoom out it will not be even be visible to you but uh, there is a point there so don't worry about it then uh, we, we can uh, at the final stage what we will do we will try to cha change the point size so that every point will be of same size so now 3 to 3 dash I have drawn a circle by using circle command then it has been shifted from 3 to F in the same way you have to zoom it and you have to select the point PO enter and this is your intersection point intersection point update then again delete this circle which is not needed again circle 4 4 dash and select this circle 4 4 dash select this circle from there to F again PO enter this is your intersection point well, if you, I am selecting it because of the experience so don't worry you can you can zoom it and you can select it similarly delete this unnecessary thing then select a circle from 5 to 5 dash to draw a circle and select the center point and from 5 to F you keep it and select the PO and the intersection point is select perfect and again delete it or else you can change it from 5 to 6 uh, F to 6 and uh, increase the radius from 6 to uh, 6 dash then again change the center from 6 to F then PO enter select the intersection point on the 6 to 6 dash then again change the center from F to 7 from there to this again from there to F then PO enter this is the intersection point so select this uh, line delete it now one thing we will do we use uh, P P Y P that is point style box and uh, we will use some 4 as the thing and press ok so that these points are visible to you clearly now I am selecting these points only I am selecting these points only and using mirror command with uh, C and V as my mirror uh, this thing mirror axis and I am not erasing the source subject so whatever the upper points are there in the bottom points also now use polyline command and select all these points which are obtained along with the vertex so, along with the vertex that is V uh, when you are selecting if you are having any doubt zoom with the help of mouse click and then you select it if not you might select some other point which will be changing the see here here I have not selected the correct point you can see then what I will do control Z so again select the point so with this polyline is done then what we can do we can edit it by using PE this poly edit command then press this line and use fit then escape then select this line use some separate color I am using pink here and then use some line weight line weight is given so this is how the hyperbola looks if you observe carefully whatever the extended line CP uh, that line is there the points will be almost nearer to it almost nearer to it you can see here almost nearer to that line but not on that line but almost nearer to that line see this is the major difference between the parabola and hyperbola they will be almost uh, nearer to that line whereas parabola it will be a little away from that line extended line so once this is completed then we have to give the dimension the dimensions which are known to us is only information regarding directrix and eccentricity so except that we should not write anything that is from C to F whatever the information is there we have to it is not visible how do you make it visible dim sty le dim style and press enter pim sty le 
and center then modify and change the arrow size from 0.10 to 4 and also here also text size from 0.1800 to 4 then press ok and then press close here the 65 is equal. even now the problem is not finished we have to give the information regarding eccentricity and the problem things also so i'm using multi text command and i'm changing the size from 0.2 to 4 and i'm going to the question and i'm copying this all and i'm pasting it here so then press close text to data. everything is not visible to me on the screen so i can use zoom extends here so this is how the problem will be looking like once it is finished so even here also the concept is same for the uh, drawing this um, uh, 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 tangent and um, normal select some point go enter on the curve somewhere like this uh, i'll use some separate color some blue color i've given it from that point you draw to the focus with uh, two lines two lines will write and one line will be selected and uh, use rotate command use rotate command with the focus point with how much 90 degrees line like this then this line is extended this line is extended until the directrix so how do you extend it uh, so we will use the extend command and we will draw this we will select it we will select it a number of times so that it will go up to the this thing will be up to it will be going up to the directrix so I am selecting I am, I am clicking it number of times so that it has gone up to the directrix once it has gone up to the directrix from the directrix intersection point to the point which is taken you draw two lines you draw two lines one line is parabola uh, tangent and the other line will be rotating with with the point intersection like this this is some um, uh, how much it is in 90 degrees so this becomes the um, we'll do one thing i'll select the point lines and i'll change the color and give some yellow color and give some line width also so this one becomes the tangent and this one becomes the um, normal I can even select the midpoint and uh, move it from here to here so that it looks good so the process will be like this for drawing the hyperbola and uh, by, by using general method and uh, drawing the normal and tangent so this is how you finish the diagram of construction of a hyperbola by using general method when the distance from the directrix is 65 mm 